and welcome to Telling Encounters, Stories of Disability, Faith, Church and God. Um, as you can probably see, I'm a bit tired this morning and for once I've come without a script. I think that's often a good place to start, to come without a script, to come and be exactly as we are. I hope that today is a day where you can also come and be exactly as you are, with all your weakness, with all your weariness, with all your stories, with all your ideas, with all your problems, with all your challenges, with all your fears for today and for the, the time we live in. It's a very difficult thing to be a disabled person in society. It's a difficult thing to be a disabled person in a church or in a community because we often feel isolated by experience or geography, that sense that people don't really understand what we live through, how we feel. It's easy to have a sense that we're on a head, on the edge or on a hedge, but it's easy to have a sense that we're on the edge, looking in and feeling very much on our own. But stories help us to make sense of our lives. And there is something about the sense of gathering coming exactly as we are, to be truly ourselves, to come together and share something of our experience and our ideas, of our faith and of our hopes, of what it feels like to be ourselves. And that is exactly what we hope these conferences will do. We disabled people gather from across the country, we come together to resource each other, to spend time with each other, to discover those strands of common experience, those ideas, those fears, those sparks of hope. Often people come and they say, I never knew there were other disabled Christians. I never knew there were other neurodivergent priests. And we come to share not those, those medical stories, those stories of here is my broken leg and I wish I was fixed, but actually those st stories of what it feels like to be me in my life, in my faith, in my community. So today we will share some of our encounters, um, the encounters we have with ourselves, the encounters we have with disability, the encounters we have with faith, with church and with God. We hope that by coming today and sharing something of your story, your experience, your ideas, your faith, we will find something that together builds a sense of community and that we end today with a sense of being less isolated in our own homes, less isolated in our experience or in our pain, less isolated in our faith or in our ministry but actually woven together. And that is what we hope today will bring. This is our ninth annual conference on disability in church, but it's our first online. Um, putting together the conference has been a leap of faith for many of us. Um, these conferences, you may see very few people on the screen, but it's been woven together with, with I say it takes a village, but it takes a village and a half to put this conference together. There are many people behind the scenes in various teams who have woven the day together. We hope it will be a day where you feel able to be at home exactly as you are, where you don't have to say, sorry, I'm, or sorry, I need, but you simply say, here I am. This is what I bring. Um, this is what I know. This is what I feel. And we will encounter each other and pray together and be together. You'll see in the chat, we've had lots of ideas about how we might be able to support, encourage and draw you in. But if there are ways that you, you need some support or you'd like things to be slightly different, you have some access requirements, then please say and we'll do what we can. We hope that together we can weave together something of a framework of a day that will work for each one of us. We have been blessed by many people and we're blessed by many people coming today to tell their stories, to share experience and to lead us through different ways in which we can tell our stories. I'm sure that Moses, when he went out with his sheep, wasn't expecting to encounter God. 
And today we come not sure what we'll encounter, but I hope that we will feel a sense of encountering God in one another and God within ourselves. God will be with us in whatever happens in this day. And so I hope that together we can find a way to make things happen. The pack has been quite an onerous thing to put together and there's plenty in it. But if there are things that you're struggling to understand, on the back of the access pack, there's a, uh, the access document for the conference, there's a neat little thing that says, what do we mean when we say? And that will take us through the things of the day. We have quite a full schedule, which is somewhere about my person. Here we go. We have quite a full schedule. In a moment, we're going to move into breakout groups, which are a chance just to, there are very little groups. We'll just be talking to each other to say uh, who we are, what we bring, what we hope for from the day. Then we'll come back into this plenary session um, for a prayer led by our co-lead chaplain, Sally Hitchener. And then we'll move into our first story from Naomi Lawson Jacobs. Um, before the coffee break, we'll be hearing from the lovely Donald Eady about his stories of experience um, through faith and through disability. And then we'll go into coffee. During the day, it's very tiring being on Zoom. We all know that. And um, please do take breaks when you need to. Be assured that the plenary sessions will be recorded. And so you'll be able to catch up later on. I know there's nothing quite like being there, but we hope that that'll be nearly as good. During the pandemic, it's um, been hard for many of us to find ways to connect. And online for disabled people has long been a way in which we can connect together. Many of you will be new to us this year and you are most welcome. We hope you'll feel very quickly at home. And there are others who've not been able to join us this year because for them, the internet or Zoom are barriers. And so we will hold them in our thoughts and in our prayers as we go through the day. Ben has put us into tiny groups and in a moment we're gonna pop across into those small groups. And I invite you to introduce yourselves, however you prefer to communicate, either in text um, or in sign language or using your voice. You have to unmute yourself so that we can hear each other and have a chance to say who we are and what we hope for from the day. Just two minutes each probably in those times. So Ben, when we're ready, we can move across into those groups. During the day, oh, it's Ben's not quite ready yet. So during the day, please do join in in the chat, um, say who you are, where you're from, if there's anything we can do to help. Later on, after the um, coffee break, we're delighted that Sam Wells is going to be leading us in our first ever um, Godly Play on Zoom. Godly Play is a way of exploring our lives, our faith and our response to God's story. The story we're using today is Moses and the burning bush. And Moses, a bit like me at the moment, was probably feeling rather short of words and rather um, overwhelmed by the, the uh, vision which God, God drew him into. But as always for all of us, God will give us what we need. I think one of the reasons I'm struggling here, which I should have said at the beginning, is because I have Tourette's. And there's something about being on Zoom and seeing lots of faces which sets off um, lots of uh, ticks and spasms. Some of those are quite sweary ticks and I'm making a big effort to hold them in. And um, one of the ways I hold them in is by sitting on a gym ball while I'm on a, a Zoom call so that the spasms go out through the ball rather than through me. But there's something particular about BSL <laughs> which sets off ticks. And so I'm sitting here trying not to swear and definitely holding on to um, the edge of the gym ball and the edge of the desk. But um, this is, I'm among friends here today, and so I'm going to share um, that I have to let ticks out from time to time. I hope they're not too loud, um, but they are what I have, and therefore that's what I bring with me. And I hope that um, you can feel able to bring with you whatever you have today. We don't have to be ready. We don't have to be in any special way, 
but can simply come and share as we are. So we're now going to drop over into small groups. You do that by saying yes to the invitation that's gonna appear in front of you. And it's a moment to talk to each other. If you prefer not to join, just stay where you are and the rest, the other people will join us in a moment. Thank you.